today I am in Oceanside about to taste test a fried chicken sandwich. Oh no, not just any kind of fried chicken. I'm talking about karage, which was invented in Japan. So luckily, here at Nayagi, Chef William is putting his own signature twist on the sandwich. Oh, well, thank you. Of course. Hi, Chef. Hello. Chef William Ike, where have you taken me? Where are we? What is happening? We are currently inside what will become Matsu. Right now we operate a little pop-up out of that front window called Nayagi, where we serve Japanese fried chicken, a few other different sandos. Oh, so that's cool. So this little pop-up um, out of that window is helping create this brand new business. Yeah, it's it's helping us fund for you know tables, chairs, and, and the full construction of what will become a fine dining restaurant here in Oceanside. You do really, you know, by the book, authentic Japanese or how do you cook it? What's important to you? I believe that it is actually more Japanese to cook with what's around us, but I definitely want to stay true to the traditions, the techniques, and the flavor profiles of Japanese food. And what's really cool, besides the pop-up, the new restaurant, you make Japanese milk bread in the back too. Can we go see yeah. over there? Okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, we have Japanese milk bread over here. You start with a Tengzong starter. It slows down the gluten production, so you get that kind of nice pull apart, chewy, but there's a slight sweetness Ooh. beyond that. You can smell it. It smells so good. I just want to like take a little bite. He's going to slap my hand away. Okay. <laughs> All right. We need to get a piece of chicken first. Can I also just do that? Yeah. Because it looks like it would be it satisfying. It feels very relieving. It, wow. After a long, stressful day at the office, you come home and play with moist chicken. Whoa. Perfect. Whoa, what is this? We get this? the mayonnaise. It's mixed with our artisanal togarashi. Togarashi is Japanese seven spice. Nori seaweed, some black sesame in it. There's a little bit of yuzu juice in there. There's sancho peppercorns. So we have a little bit in this, and we're gonna put a little bit on the chicken after okay, it's done cool. frying as well. So that's authentic. Yeah. Why is karage different from, oh, I'm just getting a fried chicken sandwich? It's a little bit lighter. It's not so heavy with all the fat from the buttermilk oh. and the gluten from the wheat flour. Did you just say it's healthier for you? It is healthier fried chicken than American fried uh -huh. chicken. Uh-huh. But we dip it in what we call matsuyaki. It's the teriyaki that we will be using at Masu. A little bit of sea salt and that togarashi. Do you have a little bit of drool in your mouth? I do. There's drool in my mouth. You can do it. You can do it. Don't get friends about okay. it. Yeah. There you go. You are a lovely chicken sandwich, and you're going to make some tummy very happy. They're so moist. Oh my gosh, with the bun, because this is so soft and this is so tender. Do you know when you eat like a chicken sandwich and you feel dirty after? Like, what did I just do? That doesn't taste like that. It tastes like, oh, I'm healthy. Exactly. Mm. Jenny got uh, a little, got a little yeah, no little big deal. A little, little splatter. You could right do it, Jenny, and you did it. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> well, it was the sandwich is that big. It's tough not to get oh, that. Looks that so looks good. really good. It really does, Jenny. Yeah. Thank you for that. Hey.